What is going on everybody and welcome to the third video in this Dash and Plotly tutorial series with Python. Today we're going to be going over CSS and styling our web page. Um, so CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet and what it allows us to do is give a look or feel to our website. Uh, so this could be with different text colors, uh, layout, etc, etc. Um, CSS nowadays and HTML for that matter um, have kind of changed a little bit in how web developers use them and generate uh, the files. So before you pretty much used HTML and CSS, designed all the files by hand, and that was kind of the old way of web developing. Now it's changed sort of where web developers are taking the files from the internet or from another source and uh, basically tweaking them and copying and pasting them uh, in their own sort of, you know, unique way and tweaking them as they go along and creating their website. So uh, another service that people use quite frequently now that I actually use quite a bit is Bootstrap. So Bootstrap allows you to link CSS, HTML, and JavaScript files to your site um, with ease. So you can style them and pretty much give them a, a layout or whatever functionality they need with JavaScript really easily. Uh, I personally think if you're doing your HTML and CSS by hand nowadays from scratch, you're wasting your time. I think there's more important things to do, uh, specifically uh, since everything has kind of been done for you with JavaScript and HTML and CSS. Um, a JavaScript might be a little different, but I digress anyways. Uh, so I guess we'll get started with creating our CSS file uh, for our Dash app. Now, uh, we can do this in two ways. We can make one by hand. So if we went to uh, our Python project and made a directory called assets, we could insert in a CSS file by just typing in stylesheet.css. And we could type in here and whatever uh, CSS we wanted, we could do that um, and style our app through here. So we could also append CSS files like this. We could say app.css.append CSS. And this honestly is an easier method, but I'm going to show you how to do both. So we'd say external URL. And here would be the URL. So I'm going to show you how to do both. So let's start with our style sheet. So I'm honestly just going to copy and paste the CSS that we're going to use for a single HTML div element because uh, I don't want to spend like three minutes writing it. I think it's going to get a little lengthy in terms of this video. But we're also going to put in a picture to our assets folder. And this you can think of as, I guess, a static directory. If you're familiar with Flask or Django, uh, you had a static directory for images and other sorts of uh, metadata like that. And our CSS that we're going to make by hand and images are going to live in this assets folder. And yes, you need to call it assets. So what we first need to do is put underscore underscore name. And that's going to basically allow us to access this assets folder right here. And I'm going to create a div element as well that we're going to style with our CSS folder. So html.div, and we'll put an h2 tag, and we'll call that stock app. That's just going to be our website title, I guess. Uh, and we'll put an image in there, and set the source equal to... Uh, well, we actually haven't even downloaded the image yet, so we should probably do that. So I actually went ahead and downloaded it before. So if you type in stock icon, I mean, you can download whatever image you want from the internet, but I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into my assets folder. And my computer is being a little slow, so I'm going to give it a second. So once we have that dragged in, we're going to uh, just make sure the naming convention is okay. We want to call it stock uh, hyphen icon, click okay. And boom, we have our icon right in there. So I'm going to set the source equal to assets. And then it's going to reference stock icon dot PNG. And what we're going to do is just run our app really quickly to see how that looks without any CSS whatsoever. And give it a second to run. And we're up and running. So I'm going to click on this URL, and as you can see, it's just a mess. We have a huge icon and a little bit of text right here. This is stock app. So what we're going to use is CSS to style this. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it in. As you can see right here, it says banner. So what we're doing is actually making a banner for our website. So this is going to be the class name that we're going to reference within our app. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to uh, put class name here. And this is gonna be for the div element, not for an individual element and say banner. So we're referencing uh, all the all the styling right here is going to go to our banner um, class name, right? So this is going to style the HTML div right here or the div element. So let's go ahead and run that really quick. And as you can see, that's way, way better um, formatted really nicely. And we can change a whole bunch of stuff with CSS. So that's the first example on how to do it by hand. Uh, what we're going to actually do to make it more efficient is append an external URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the URL name that we want. So I have the URL typed in. Uh, what we're going to do next is uh, just, I'll actually bring it up in my browser just to show you guys what it looks like what we referenced so when we enter it in you can see we have a css file that we linked this is one that's pretty popular throughout uh, i guess the dash community you could say and uh, it's on a lot of the featured dash apps in their gallery so this is quite a bit as you can see and what we're going to be referencing is some of the column layouts right here uh, and it's pretty much already done for us so we can x out of this and uh, we're going to use actually both of these in this case, both of these CSS files. So the only difference is that we uh, took this one from the web and linked it to our own app. So I'm going to make an HTML div element. And I'm going to encase two other HTML divs in here. So we're going to make two separate graphs on two columns within one row so that'll give a good idea to the layout we're trying to create so I'm gonna start by saying uh, within here we're gonna make a graph so this is the dash core components um, and we're going to say within here ID equals uh, we'll say graph close and we're gonna make a graph for the high and close so we'll say figure is equal to a dictionary and put a comma here there we go and we'll say we have data which is going to be equal to the trace close list and we could also put a layout as well if we wanted and that's in a dictionary format and we can put a title and what do we want our title to be we'll say uh, I don't know close graph cool so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into where we should put this other one and I'll set that to graph underscore high. And we can't have an ID with the same name because dash is going to uh, throw an exception. So if, if we have two, we have to have them have different uh, IDs. So I'm going to say high graph for the title. And we haven't made the trace high data. So I'm going to copy and paste this right up here. And again, before I deleted everything within the app layout and pretty much everything that was generating the figure before. So all we had left was the trace close and just the app shell. So um, trace high. Copy and paste that in. And what we want to do now is assign class names. So the class names can be referenced within this file right here. So we have to be pretty specific. So I'm going to say class name equals six columns, copy and paste that. And we can uh, obviously change them to different column layouts as well. So in this name for the overall uh, div that's going to encase these two is going to be row. Let's give that a shot, save it, run it. And boom, we have a two-column layout right here. And uh, I guess just for 
demonstrator purposes, I'll put a header tag. So HTML dot H2 or H3 column two and copy and paste this. And that's going to be column one. Run that again. And boom, we have our two column layout with some headers, I guess you could say. Uh, so I think that just about wraps it up for this tutorial. So to go over what we did, we uh, created our assets folder, which is going to hold our uh, pictures and CSS and JavaScript that we'd make by hand. And we also appended a style sheet right here at the bottom of our file uh, to get a certain look feel to our website. In this case, we have a two column layout with a nice little banner right here with an image embedded in it. So I think that just about does it for this tutorial. Uh, join me in the next one and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks guys and have a great day.